Welcome to the end of a game of Space Station 13, where I am a ghost. Everyone, including everyone on the command deck, is dead. Looks like there was a furious firefight. There, everyone's on fire. Uh, there's, there's a Roman shield there. There's more ghosts. People have written horrible messages. The Borg reigns supreme. Remember, you can play as a cyborg. You just must follow the rules or lack thereof if your AI goes rogue, which is amusing. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. Just another day on Space Station 13 here, folks. The round will start in 120 seconds. I'm Tex, but you know that. Or should. I don't know what the hell this song is from. Someone enlighten me if they know. about the last round where everyone died on fire. Wizard. Apparently at some point the wizard polymorphed everyone into barnyard animals. Not sure how they resolved that, but well, I have an idea. Perhaps murder and violence. It is the way of TG Station, though, and Space Station 13. So I bid you all a good evening, or good day, wherever you all are, and join me for this bit of mayhem, like no other. One of the admins has said, you are all so fucking fucked, so the game mode has apparently been decided. Someone else has said they're going to disallow comments? Question mark. I don't know what they're planning. Maybe it could be, I could be reading this one. Maybe people are just talking shit. Tip of the round. The station is capable of being entirely powered by the solar array. Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I'm in cargo. I'm, wait, no. I am the shaft miner. Fuck yeah! Supply channel! Alright. Let me go through my stuff I have. What, what is this? No, not that. This. Mining satchel. Go ahead and put that there. Nope. Arr. Mining voucher. All right. Just gotta throw my stuff together. Gotta do some science. Breaking news from mining station. Uh, let's see. Suit sensors. When you die, because at some point you will max them out right now. So go ahead and do that. Set them to BAM. Sometimes you get rescued, sometimes you do not. I should probably open my mining kit here. Optical Maison Scanner. Pick that up, because those are cool. Boop! Gonna put them on my eyes. Radar vision. See? Now I can see everywhere. Mining Scanner. Actually... Industrial uh, Sensor Miner's Equipment. Uh, Mining Skinner. Move to top. Oh boy. So, we have somebody has just become captain. I have no idea what's going on, but I don't think anyone else really does. Okay, Mining Sensor. Shovel. Move to top. I'm going to do some mining here. Alright, so, oh no, did I drop my any of my stuff? Did I get my fingerless gloves on? Yeah, because I'm a miner. Pick up, pick X, put in satchel, no, too big for satchel. 
no one closes and locks up their stuff. And they wonder why shit goes missing, you know? Let's see. Wow, look, I can buy all sorts of weird stuff in this little store here. Including a better pickaxe and space cash. I guess that's what those VIN vouchers are for. Alright. Send uh, to Mining Shuttle Bay. Yeah, there she is. Here to always close your doors. Attention, enemy communication intercepted. That don't Secure bother me, I'm a space miner. We just got thrown I, Alright. I have apparently also bumped my head from the sudden acceleration and deceleration. Now here's the one cool thing about being a space miner is you get yourself dispense suit, dispense mask. The good old mining hard suit. Apparently someone has taken the mining helmet. This may this may complicate matters. Let's see if we can maybe find another one. Because I do not have a mining helmet, and that could prove problematic in space. Well, at the very least, I need to get a big O2 tank. So I can put that on as a backpack, I believe. Um. Oxygen tank. Open. Put that there. Fine, let's see if I can get do this without a helmet. If somebody took my fucking helmet. Yeah, it's not good for me. Apparently. I really do need a space helmet, not just a breath mask. Alright. There's multiple parts to this mining station, if I recall. And monsters, I hear. Alright. Oh no. Head of Personnel's desk announcement. Wanna be the warden? Come on down! I'd hesitate to wonder the qualifications for that. Note, if ever you want to steal some shit, the mining station is not a bad place to get to. Okay, that is power. This is the snack and break room, I guess. Fuck me, I really need a helmet. It'd be nice if I had a helmet. Uh, mining channel sitting there complaining about this and that. As is their want. Little medical station over there. No helmets. And this is a bit ridiculous because they have the hard suit, just not the helmet. Cyborg recharging station. Head engine, uh, the head damage because of his mining shuttle accident is now going to wander the station in search of a helmet so he doesn't die. See, there's just three helmets, which is uh, kind of not good. So. So, funny story, guys. Mine in space. Let's 
Let's see if anyone will help. saying this helmet is built into the suit. That sounds like a lie. Sounds like a lie told to get miners killed on this horrible, horrible station. But hey, they say it's true. It might be true. It may just be feeling the after effects of, uh, you know, some things. Apparently I am freezing a little bit. Apparently I am dying from this. Oh, they're pulling one of those new minor tricks. I am so not doing well. Okay, so a little bit of... Uh, horrible, horrible burns. Severe bruising and minor burns. Alright, I can treat this. I know where the infirmary is. Is in fact a helmet attachment or not? I don't think there is. So I actually went out and mined without my helmet for a little bit, even though I had O2, I had some burns and stuff. So. Hard suit. Hmm. But not here. I'll try to go find another job if there's just not enough equipment. Alright, what do we need here? Blood packs? No, that not a vampire. Root trauma kit. Oh. Bleeding. Okay. Science. Science. Cured me. As science has taken from me. 
It does look like he may have some sort of equipment that he's holding on his belt, but it's a strange thing, isn't it? Uh-oh. This. There we go. Extended capacity oxygen tank. That's what I was looking for. Put that in there. Things miners get. I like how every little class gets a little bit of special uh, equipment. A little bit of love. I wonder if I can perhaps find some things. Insert ID. You have zero mining points collected. Oh. I can buy whiskey cheaply, but stuff to help my job is expensive. <laughs> Just about what I thought. So, get horribly, horribly fucked up on the mining station. Because I fell for the old you don't need a helmet in space trick. does, sometimes it doesn't, but usually does draw attention to you. Uh -huh. Dear Spass Gods, my fellow miners of Spass have taken from my <laughs> from me any chance of getting a helmet. Space hurts me so very much. I love you Sp Space Gods. May I ask for an empowerment of revenge? Or a sign that I should find alternative employment? Thank you for being ever so cold and vast. I have prayed to the Spes Gods. That is one of the things you can do in character. People are sitting here talking in common chat on the station channel. says push the button inside your suit. How? Like many things in Space Station 13, this is going to be...
typing the people. to do with this ore. Is this pickaxe better than my pickaxe? I must mine extra hard because uh, I've done poorly. Tele temporary telecommunication failure imminent. Oh, fun. some ore, hopefully that'll help. So in the end, the, uh, the strange thing about all this is that they have added in a lot of features like the automatic space helmet from Dead Space, for instance, which is really cool. Um, but why make it such of a hassle through the UI to activate it? I understand that it's a limitation like the Beyond Engine or what have you, but I remember back in the day it was just like a space helmet. They say it's been, because uh, I was talking to the admin, trying to figure out how long it's been like this. They said it's about it's been like this for about four months, so relatively new. Not all the changes of Space Station 13, I think, are great. Uh, I mean, it, it is a cool feature, but I think it also kind of makes some of the things overly complex. Like, I like the idea of the barman having a lot of different recipes because he can just combine, you know, five, six ingredients many times over and create all of these many various interesting things. But when they make jobs really complex, a lot of people just don't want to do them. Like, you know, the engine room and uh, some of the engineering, but I understand the other side of things is that if engineering were simple, every idiot in the world would do it all the time, so... Uh, <laughs> yay, minis! says, this is your working song. Now do it.
So, someone has just tested the comms. The comms have come back up. Apparently the admins are playing that in the interlude. Well, the comm thing was going down. There's that gibbonite or gibbonite. Gibbs being the explosive thing that happens in this game when you just explode from wizard magic or some horrible disease. Alright, let me look at this industrial thing here. Hopefully not fuck things too terribly bad. Uh, Jim Weathermax is a wizard. I'm not saying kill him on sight, but I'm not saying not to kill him on sight. Thank you, head of personnel. Don't mean to push the wall. I'm trying to no materials loaded. Okay, so I have to load materials into the smelter. So I can do kinds of, okay, fine, fine, fine. It has to go through. Okay. It's a little different. Someone has. This strange. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And I'm going to. Oh, God. I gotta go through all my shit here. Apparently, I have 50 ore. Actually, wait, there, there's an instruction manual, I believe. Hold on. Please use the order redemption machine in the science wing for smelting. Please, the research staff. Fine. shuttle back. Alright. I'm gonna buckle myself in the chair. Yeah! Now I'm the smart one. I won't get some head damage from being thrown around terribly by my stupidity. Attention. Uh oh. Unknown biological entities have been detected near this station. Science. Science. Oh, alright. Fine. I'll go this way. Spass carbs, someone screams. I'll have a pickaxe. I'll fucking mine it to death. Someone has said the head of security has murdered his wife. the hallway and act like everything's okay. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, da, da, da. Ah. I don't even know where in the hell research element. Uh, hello? Hello, science persons? Tell 
someone's knocking on the wall. Attention, window. new command report created. I don't know what's going on. No. Attention, new command report created. I I don't know what's going on. Trying to talk to some science people here, but some horrible things have happened in science. Apparently the head of security has said that the mime is playing with the comms. I think that would violate mime. Whereabouts is we or dropping off? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wizard. I can mind me a wizard. Come here, wizard. Where is he at? There he is. And now set on fire. Let's see. You want to put a banging dog on it? Yeah, wizard dead. Mining one, wizard zero. Enjoy your Aha! stay. Ah I am the barman. I've been trying to be the janitor to show you guys that, but sometimes fate is cruel. So. Here I am, barman. There's the chef. Looks like we got a full station today. Not full, full, but you know, it, it'll do. All right. I'll be the barman, classy as ever. Good day, lawn. Oh shit, clown, sir. Sorry. Yes. I, I will immediately make the clown his margarita. I don't think I would really like a clown, though, that was drinking around kids. But there's no kids here, because Space Station 13 is bad enough. Uh... Attention. Enemy communication intercepted. Yeah, fantastic. Security level elevated. Send. Fantastic. There you are, sir. My finest, saltiest, my finest, saltiest margarita. And may I say, sir, what a fine, full head of hair you have. A glass? There you go. A glass. Says he needs a glass, but there you well. All right, monkey, you need to behave. I'm gonna try to be a chill barman. I'm gonna try to actually make the drinks. Cause there's a simple bartending guide, but I know there's a lot of older drinks you can make, so. I'm going to try to make a few things. Now I know if you can make a Manhattan, which is vermouth and whiskey, uh, you can also add uranium and make a Manhattan Project, which I think would be classy and excellent for Space Station 13. There's a few other drinks like the Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster, which... Actually, let me see if I can make one, because it's... Whiskey. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, that is that is just a thing of booze. That is not a pain galactic cargo blaster. That'll fuck somebody up, I guarantee it, but maybe not the best. 
Someone is, uh, I think. Somebody is, uh, someone's like, I need a bottle of any kind. And I'll be like, all right. He's also got a tank of welder fuel there, so. I'm just not going to ask any questions. I'm just going to try to be nice. Just going to try to be nice. Classy bottom. I'll try to make anything you ask for. If I don't know how to make it... Uh-oh. I have a feeling this may be explosive, so... Just gonna... Okay. Whiskey, please. A whiskey. A single whiskey. I can do a single whiskey. I'll do a nice, neat single whiskey. Just... Nothing... Nothing insane. I'll give them their money's worth, though. Oh, someone's gonna play some musical instruments for me. Half a lizard person set himself on fire. I have said, play me a song, muse of muses. This is a robbery. <laughs> Give me the monkey? Oh, thank God. Take the fucking monkey. He said he wants the money, and I said, Oh, no, I'll give you the monkey. You can't have my money. I'll throw it away before I give it to you. There. Sorts of terrible shit is going on. Somebody's beating somebody to death with a wrench. Someone is screaming, No! Wire cutters? Someone's using wire cutters offensively. Music again. There's a torch there and the welder tank. I, I'm gonna try to separate these two items before an incident occurs. Just gonna that in the back. Chef's back there smoking a cigarette. I'm just gonna put this pie out and hopefully peace follows. Jesus. What a horrible fucking place. Blood stained murder weapons and all sorts of shit just laying around. I'm trying to run a classy fucking bar here, you know. extra vermouth in that martini, so it's classic, but also a bit sweet. Perhaps for a classy lady. No, oh, there's not any of these on this station, trust me. Everyone here is terrible. Everyone here is a bastard. It's necessary. Have some banana cream pie and a martini. 8,000 calories. Good for you. Alright, let's so do some whiskey and, uh, trying to make some, you know, decent, decent martinis, trying, gonna have a cultivated atmosphere, maybe people will forget about the murder wrench, you know, uh, or the welding tank, you know, I, I'll just, just try to push this stuff off where, oh, I don't want to disassemble my fucking table, there, trying to make the, Bar, better place. Listen, okay. Monkey, you have been the cause of too much controversy. Come here. I'm gonna lock you up for your own good. I know your picture's on the wall there, so I can't just kill you. You're part of this franchise, but you're gonna stand there with that welding tank, and hopefully. Request assistance, janitorial, high priority. Standard murder wrench fight here. I need a bit of cleanup. Alright.
just gonna sit here. Give me a cup. Why does everyone just want a cup? Alright. I mean, I'm not gonna... I, I don't think I'll run out of glasses. Because usually people leave them where I can find them. Glass of what? Um... I hope that monkey's not playing that. Large beaker, examine. It contains sulfuric acid? Uh, I don't like what he's making here. Don't tell no one. What? Ugh. People with sulfuric acid and stuff. Now the fact I noticed that, that it was sulfuric acid, and I'm trying not just to ignore the naked person. But the fact I noticed that sulfuric acid would be quasi-metagaming. As a barman, I probably wouldn't be like, What's, what are you pouring in there? I mean, I'd ask, like, don't pour date rape drugs and shit in my bar, but I wouldn't I wouldn't question if somebody just had a bottle or of some something that they brought with them and just walked out with it. They just wanted a glass. You know, I wouldn't look too closely. As a barman, I don't think you would. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. Anyways, classy, classy uh, cocktail. <laughs> Classy. Now, some of you might want to ask, what is the difference between a martini that is shaken and a martini that is stirred? A martini that is shaken is more dilute because it has all the ice chips floating in it. A martini that is stirred is actually stronger. So, it usually comes down to that preference. So asking for a shaken martini is kind of a sissy choice in drinks. Or at least someone who is a conditioned drinker and intends to drink all day. At least from the manly side of things. Right. Classy cocktails, classy bartender. Huge, like... Prussian mustache with the wax tips and a top hat. Man serving you some fine beverages. Fine, classy beverages made with real things. Not like fruit cocktails or daiquiris, but booze with a little bit of sweetener. Sometimes you need that little bit of a sissy drink. You're like, I, I want to drink whiskey, but I don't want to vomit my mouth. Because the whiskey you serve is garbage, so we add sweeteners. That's actually where cocktail culture comes from. During the Prohibition, a lot of people had to add sweeteners and fruit juices and syrups and all sorts of things to make these garbage uh, beverages palatable because it was like, you know, bathtub gin or denatured ethanol for industrial purposes. Uh, all sorts of rot gut. But if you have fine ingredients, it really doesn't need much, if anything. I'm more of a neat whiskey sort of person. I don't like cocktails. Oh wow, they got my page. Sweet. Thanks. Standard murder wrench party. Fighting over the monkey, believe it or not. Set up some classy uh, beverages around the uh, gambling table, and maybe I'll have uh, some people come in who are clean. Oh, I'm that is a broken bottle. I just need to clean that up. Oh, cool! Holographic "Don't Walk" sign. Spess janitor. So, yeah, oh, cool. He can leave the area, then it'll just stay there for a bit while the uh, floor dries. That's an excellent, excellent person. Alright, let me make some, uh... 
I usually am alarmed when I see people walk by with blood on them, or if I don't, or if, you know, I see bad shit like that happen, but I have to realize that a lot of these people are into some horrible shit, and I just best not look. Make myself a fucking screwdriver. There you go. Set up, uh... Oh, what do we got here? I know it'll keep some of the assholes out. Um, no, alright, not there. Oh, uh, I have a coffee machine. This is nice. Shit, I mean to push the right button. So, set up a bunch of nice beverages. Questions, don't ask questions. Just on the barman. Set up some classy drinks. Trying to entice people to come in, sit down, sit a spell, smoke a cigarette, talk about their day. Maybe order some classier drinks later on, like if they'd say, Oh, I want a gin fizz or something, you know. That is not the gin fizz, that is just gin. I'm, I'm teaching myself to remake some of these drinks. I'm not a classically trained bartender, nor a qualified one, so... There you go. Gin and tonic. I hate gin. I think it tastes like gasoline, but... So does almost everyone. <laughs> Ugh, it's terrible. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Someone is being stabbed in the eye with a fork. That's what it's saying on the uh, corner of my thing. So he's getting cut in the head with a kitchen knife. That person just wandered out. I'm. I. Even though it reads this, I can't really see it. I don't think my character could hear it through this airlock and everything else. I'm just making drinks, man. Whoever is killing somebody is doing it regularly. some tools. Some sort of cat person. Don't know what they're doing. Ah, music. Fine. Hotel California on a... Well, it sounds like a harpsichord. <laughs> Space Station 13, the many songs of it. Some people actually know what they're doing with the MIDI thing and can create some interesting music. Some people have no fucking clue and well persist straight through anyways. Um make me a drink, make me a drink. I'm gonna do some cream. to explain that I was trying my mixology skills because I'm practicing because I'm, I'm not that great. 
trying to be a upbeat and chipper barman, but maybe not a good one. So you'd be like, oh, you know, what can I get you? Uh, I have a wine, and it's uh, red. It is a it is a red wine. That is all I know of it. Oh, all right. Trying all sorts of new ideas, hence the variety of beverages from dry martinis to slightly sweet martinis to, uh, you know, different takes and even failures of <laughs> many beverages for them to try. And they don't seem impressed at all. Not if they were drinking any of the drinks. Well, alright, someone is. The other person just staring straight ahead. Just gonna sit here, having myself a nice, a nice sit. People are making announcements regarding the outcome of the previous game, metagaming, because they're sort of losers. Someone has a brain cake? I... Mm, that does not sound good. I'm just gonna stand behind this bar. Hopefully no one murders me for my few privileges. Someone has gussied up the monkey with makeup, I believe, and some... a wig, perhaps. I... I don't... I just pun pun up for you. Oh, good! Good, good. Tunnel Adventures Pun Pun? Tunnel Adventures Pun Pun There you go. Tunnel adventures, pun pun. Tunnel adventures! Alright. Sit here, gonna pour drinks, be nice. I don't need that monkey dancing around behind the bar because it'll like trip you and all sorts of other nonsense. Somebody's, I hear people using the flash thing, so there may be some crazy things going on here. I don't know what, not gonna metagame because the idea is you, you shouldn't speculate really in character what's going on. You should just try to do your job until things present themselves and play it out as your character would, you know. Because something goes on at the edge of a station, you shouldn't automatically read into it and go, Oh no, someone said this, that means it's a wizard round, which means I need to automatically arm myself with all the heaviest weapons and start abandoning my job to fight the wizard. And it's like, no, security and, oh shit, that's a bomb. This is beep beep. I'm gonna... Gonna hazard. It says it's a remote signaling device and proximity sensor stuck together.
no bomb attached to it? Alright, I'll just put that back here where... Attention. Won't do any harm. Or will harm somewhere else. EOD. Part of the job. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here and be cool. Atmospherics alert. Something wrong with the scrubbers. I'm just gonna sit here and be cool. Oh, oh, that I believe is a space wizard or some someone has stolen the piano. An Atmos technician, I believe, is stealing the piano. Just gonna take it somewhere. And some metal. He stole a chair as well. Alright, well. I don't I don't know what happened here. What? This guy's like, I was like, what the fuck is that? And this chef who's just smoking is like, space drugs. You want some? Oh, I have to ask somebody. He's like, I'll hook you up. You gotta ask this guy, so. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, well, I guess I gotta wait for the opportunity. Detective is passing by. Space drugs is in Whoa, what, what, what is this? I'm just a simple bar man. What the fuck is this? A small parcel? Uh -huh. It's a tiny red parcel. And it's a glass. Someone put my glass in a parcel. Okay. One of my floor plates has also been blown up for some reason. I will Go ahead and put that there. Just gonna. Okay, is this guy just AFK here? What the fuck? I'll take him with a chef. Oh shit, I got blinded. I'm now a revolutionary. Okay, so I'm a revolutionary now. Well, the chef to make some burgers or something. The guy with the piano is not a revolutionary. When you're a revolutionary, you can see other revolutionaries, which is nice. And your job is to kill the heads of various departments. So I can see all the other revs. I've also made enough booze where I can more or less fuck off and not be missed should revolutionary duty call. You should always try to do this for yourself. So if ever at any point you're made a revolutionary or this or that or so circumstances change, your character having not fucked off for the part of the job where they're supposed to be, you know, doing their fucking job, means they can have fun later on. 
But if you're just sitting around waiting for something to happen and not doing your job, that's when it gets kind of boring. Because if everyone's doing that, then the station doesn't work. You'll see a lot of people do that, because they're like, Oh, I want to be a trainer! And if they're not, then they act like one. I think that was the intro to uh, Skyrim. Well, I'm a revolutionary barman. I don't know what the fuck that means. I need to probably help the revolution somehow, but... Is he just playing that in the hallway? Penal snakes rule. sit here for a minute because I have to take a short uh -oh. Okay, I'm back. So, apparently there was a security shakedown in science and they didn't find anything other than excessive gang tags. That's what they said. They're trying to be transparent, I guess. Alright. Revolutionaries, revolutionaries. Oh, he's the revolutionary piano man. Revolutionary business. He's the bard of the revolution. Oh, shit. There's security. Security. Tunnel snakes roll. Okay. People in science are not revolutionaries. Interesting. Well, I know a way I can help the revolution. I know a way I can gloriously help the revolution, comrades. <laughs> that didn't work? Shit. I yelled for the revolution. <laughs> and then lit the welder tank with my torch. Oh shit. It survived. God damn. I'm a brave revolutionary. Ah. I'm telling them I am deafened and I am burned. I need help. Because I'm a brave revolutionary. Didn't mention the revolutionary part. I am trying to help my healings. So, for my part of the revolution, I think I blew the glass out on one of the protective shutters or something, but at least I did my part. I mean, not a lot of revolutionaries are willing to make that kind of mad sacrifice. But I am comrades. Security's dragging somebody who's not a revolutionary, even in death, I guess. Just like dragging them off. Jesus. 
security is a bunch of goons today. Okay, we're gonna need some means of making a bigger explosive. Looks like someone has actually created walls around somebody who is now dead. If I get another welding tank, or a few welding tanks, I might be able to create an even bigger bomb. an alien wearing a backpack. My torch is still here. I seem to find another welter tank. Another welter tank. Another welter tank. All sorts of revolutionary crazy is going on all over the station, but no one else has matched my ferocity. Come, brother revolutionaries. Alien, go about your business. Alright, revolutionaries. Okay. That sounded like an explosion. The emergency shuttle has been called. Bullshit. We just gotta kill the captain. Okay, hold on. Plan B. tank, my trusty revolutionary tool. Uh oh. Nuke ops confirmed. So there's nuke ops and a revolutionary. Nuclear operations and bridge. Everyone's screaming Nuclear ops here, nuclear ops there. Seems like a bunch of nonsense. Oh wow, I actually apparently blew out a real window. Attention. Electrical storm. It's not good. So it's a nonsense going on. I'm just going to act again because I am a true revolutionary. And I am not afraid. I'm not afraid to act while everyone else is just being sycophants. Traitors. Sycophants and traitors. Alright, apparently there's space leaking out of that window from my earlier success. Glory to the revolution! Ah ha ha!
Apparently there's a gang going on and a revolution. A gang rev. Apparently I'm also badly wounded. <laughs> Doctor, help me. I'm bruised horribly. Horribly. I'm deaf. Help. Fucking useless doctor. Alright. I didn't get that bad bruised for the damage I did. I could probably do one more. But I was too badly fucked up, I couldn't do anything. Glory to the revolution. I'm going to destroy the bridge controls. Blown out windows, set myself on fire. I'm running around. People at Syndicate running around the station. I do well for myself here. Set the monkey on fire. Doing what a real revolutionary does, driving him off the bridge. I crack and blow enough of those windows, enough of those points, they can't sit in there and just watch the cameras and control the station. Now they have to actually leave that area. So they can't just bunker up. They're just going to let me burn. Being a revolutionary is not, <laughs> not for everyone, and I, I'm not great at it, but I do help where I can. So yeah, apparently the syndicate is attacking the station as well as a revolution going on. People are all screaming at each other. This is normal. See the damage I did. It looks like I actually blew that window out and fucked the reinforced walls up. Now I think they still have good seal there though. But right here, that blew out both the reinforced panes, so I think someone can crawl through. Didn't disable any computers yet, but somebody could actually rush the bridge if they knew what they were doing in relatively little amount of time, because I did that, so... It's actually working quite well. Let's hope my fellow revs can get this working. I mean, I think I contributed in a little bit. Looks like security's got some real nasty Borg operations going on. But, uh, yeah, usually you'll find in head rounds, sometimes they'll bunker up in security, sometimes they'll bunker up here in the command center, just to keep the uh, revolutionaries out of the command center. <coughs> Let's see, security's got their lights going. Uh, oh, shit, they're taking lots of prisoners. That's where their little prison is. People all incarcerated there. They're trying to set off the nuclear weapon. I think the Syndicate is trying at least. Let's see, Sinkalo is at a reasonable size. Good, good. For now. You never know. I think they just. Uh oh. Station self-destruct mechanism has been... <laughs> Hold on. Murder in the hallway as well, but uh... Station self-destruct mechanism has been engaged. So this is engaged as a failsafe because of the revolution. <laughs> That's not smart. Security is evacuating. Everyone run. Uh, the chat's just pouring through like crazy right now. Burger 
burger somebody made. That is a huge fucking burger. That's a lot of meat for it. Martial law is now in effect, says the head of security. <laughs> All wanted or non-implanted shall be cleansed. Yeah, it sounds like the head of security, alright. What the fuck is this? A gateway. Intriguing. Captain dead, says the security. Guns are now being handed out. Now that is... It's like they've even armed some of the prisoners. The emergency shuttle has been called. There's the head of security with the crazy beard and glowing eyes. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, it looks like they've actually armed some of the prisoners and others have escaped. Gun, all the guns are gone. So it looks like security stepped up their game and became the goon squad. Everyone knows what they are. And knows they are. Yeah. Crazy. Uh oh. This is the end. Countdown. <laughs> Goodbye, station.